as if the hot it don't happen no. Still on 2023 election, Peter Obi is the man and we vote massively for him because we want to put an end to bad governors, we want to put an end to hunger, we want to put an end to insecurity because we don't tire for the present government with this so. We don't tire for, 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 for this kind of case when we say a person will rule Nigeria go see Nigeria. And meanwhile, uh, uh, and the, the talk say Peking is more better pass Papa. But now, now this is our case of Nigeria now. The Papa can better pass Peking because this president so they supposed make Nigeria better because Nigeria and they Peking because they see no Nigeria. Man not talk too much, make a live on the hands of Goro, Aruna Goro. Make the educators about this is that to, uh, uh, topic. Enough is enough because as I talk so at the best, as they was even though they share that. Please, after saying it, don't forget to comment. And if you are new to my page, please follow my page. Enough is enough. A government that cannot protect our people is not a government. And now we are going into the election. I'm telling you, it is time for us to say no to these invaders. It's almost as if we don't have a nation called Nigeria. People are laughing at the nation. Can't we see? People are dying daily and you are there telling us you, you want to do politics. That's not true politics. We must stop all these people that are coming in. You see them coming in with truck loads, coming in with motorbikes, and now they've taken over all the forests, taken over all the bushes. The roads are not safe. Wherever you turn, there's no safety. Airports are not safe. Railways are not safe, people's homes are not safe, the capital city is not safe. There's virtually no place that is safe in the entire nation of Nigeria. Where did we go wrong? Why are we allowing illiterates to control us? Few people cannot destroy the entire nation and the rest are just watching. Don't allow fear to mortgage to destroy the future of your children. Even though we're a sovereign nation, but our borders right now are not safe. Everybody has a right to peace, to prosperity, to education, to life. And any government that comes in, that should be their primary responsibility to protect life and property. But this current regime has not protected the lives of Nigerians. And somebody is telling me they still want to continue where Buhari has stopped. You want to make sure that there's no more Nigerians left on earth? Is that what you want to do? APC government? Is that what you're looking for? Tinubu, you have come in, you went and hired fake bishops because you are desperate and you want to become president. You are old, you are fragile and you are struggling. People have to be holding you and you are saying, hey, me loco, hey, me loco. Now it's my turn, it's my turn. So you think the nation is now a piece of cake that you want to distribute? Enough is enough. Nigerians, don't let these people have their way. It's enough. They don't have your interests at heart. I am telling you the truth. I am from the north. There are so many well-meaning, good-hearted northerners. Not every house of man is bad. Not every Fulani is bad. But there are a few that still have this mindset of the past. They want to hand over the nation to just a few people, to the Fulani feudal system. They are saying they must come and continue the work of Osman Danfodio. We are talking about 2022. In this era, in this time, somebody still wants to take us about 100 years back. Nigerians, it's enough. We must protect our nation. At least I'm happy that now there is an awakening in the north, in the middle belt and in the south. People are kind of arising and they are saying enough is enough. We're not going to let our nation be invaded and taken over by terrorists, taken over by bandits, taken over by Boko Haram. We can't continue like this. We need to save this nation. If not for our sake, let's do it for the sake of our children's children, yet unborn. Don't be selfish. Don't be greedy. Don't be full of yourself. Think about your children's children. These days you find trucks that are supposed to bring in food for our citizens that are suffering and dying of hunger. You know what they are doing now? The trucks are filled up with young innocent people that they have indoctrinated, they have brainwashed and they have bribed them, giving them money, promising them reward in paradise. And many of the people that are sponsoring these terrorists, all these kidnappers, their children are not involved. It's the children of the poor, it's the children of the innocent that they are using and sending them. They put them like sardine inside the trucks together with cattle. And do you know most of the time when they arrest these people that are transporting people in trucks and camouflaging as if they are taking animals? But inside, concealed, are weapons. Are we in a war? These people that have been collecting ransom, who are they? Which bank do they take the money to? Who are the people collecting this money in the bush? Are there banks in the bush? It's not those small boys that you see in the bush that they are using to terrorize and people. But some people are behind it, some rich so-called millionaires. 
some of the people that come with as if they have legitimate businesses are actually a camouflage they are the ones using these people to be terrorizing the entire nation when they do random checks then they find out oh no it's not cows that are inside there are human beings they ask them where are you going to we don't know we were told to just come into the truck we are being transported and they take them to the forest, take them to the bushes, take them to the mountains, take them to the caves and distribute them all over. Innocent people are dying. Nigerians enough. Why are you so afraid? I'm so grateful that there are people that have been speaking. They are speaking, but we don't want to hear them because people are bent on doing evil. But the time has come. God, the creator of heaven and earth, will expose the people that are behind all these killings, all this insecurity, whatever is their agenda, their agenda has come to an end. Enough is enough. Nigerians, it is time to take your nation back from this evil cabals. If we can't protect our citizens, which politics are you trying to play? I'm so happy at least there's a little bit, you know, sign of hope. There's a sign of relief as I see the young people rising up. The elections have not started, but the young people are already saying we want to take our nation back. And there's a movement that's going on now with Peter Obi and Ahmed Dirty. Hey, I give you kudos, my brother. Thank you for standing up. I'm a dirty. I thank you very much. You're a young, intelligent northerner. You are making us proud. Don't let them silence you. They may say, oh, you are from the north. You are trying to sabotage the plans of the north. And I'm so happy with this movement now. And it's not an Igbo movement. It's not a Yoruba movement. It is not a Southeast movement. It is not a political movement. It is a movement of the people to take back what belongs to them. And I want you to join that movement because I have decided I'm part of that movement. Enough of you using this false card of religion, using this false card of, oh, we are house and we are full of You're not going to bring this division of, oh, you are house, you are Yoruba, you are Igbo. Enough of dividing us. What we want is one Nigeria. Nigeria that used to be so much peaceful. We live together with the people so peaceful. I come from Kaduna State, the Fulani, the Hausas, the people from Southern Kaduna, the people from different parts of the North were living peacefully up to places like Ilorin, places like Plateau, all over Taraba, and some of those other northern states. People lived together. Nobody was bothering whether you were Hausa or Fulani, whether you are Kanuri, whether you are Jaba, whether you are Ninzom. It didn't matter whether you were a Muslim or you were a Christian. People who just lived together as family. But for some time now, there has not been peace. And it is enough. Nigeria has been torn into pieces. It's been torn apart. And it's a place that nobody wants to live in. It's no longer safe. Why would we allow foreigners to invade our nation any nation can come and attack nigeria do we have what is needed to be able to resist and overpower so we are the ones that are destroying ourselves we are the ones that are killing our own people because we allowed external invaders to come in and take over our nation when has the nation degenerated so much to a place where we are protecting animals more than we protect human beings enough is enough if we truly say we are nigerians then let's stand together as one they have caused so much trouble and pain all over the nation so much needless bloodshed people have lost lives have lost property every day and everywhere you go it's not safe i'll see you next time make sure you share this broadcast to as many people as you can and i want you to like this page and subscribe so that you will know when next i have another broadcast god bless you and god bless the federal republic of nigeria